All right, folks, it's going down tonight. UFC 277, Pena versus Nunez Part 2. Pena will defend her bantamweight belt against the former champ. It will be going down in Dallas at the American Airlines Arena. If you're one of the few people who watch my videos, tell me your thoughts. Are you rooting for anybody? Do you have any predictions? Me personally, there's a part of me that is rooting for Nunez. If she ties it up, that will set up the rubber match. But there is another part of me that is rooting for Pena because she is just gorgeous. And it is hard to root against somebody that is that beautiful. I don't know. I just want to see a good fight. That being said, the flyweight title is also up for grabs between Brandon Moreno and Kai Cara France. So, in celebration of that, I got here a blaster box of 2022 Panini Select UFC cards. Gonna open them up. Let's see what I can find. As you can see here, six packs per box, four cards per pack, so this will be a relatively short video. This is my first time opening up Panini Select UFC cards. All right, let's get started. Hall of Famer Michael Bisping. Bilal Muhammad. Okay, there was only three cards in that pack. Casey O'Neill, a Sean Strickland rookie card. Andre Mudez. Ooh. A Max Holloway. This is an insert card. Commemorating 445 significant strikes landed. And this is an orange prism. I'm not even going to attempt, attempt to pronounce that name. Umar Nurmagomedov, Kevin Kelvin Gastelum, and speak of the devil, Brandon Moreno, who will be fighting tonight. He has the chance to become the first Mexican-born champion, should he win tonight. This is Islam. I know I should know his name, but I can't pronounce his last name at the moment. But I know he's one of the premier fighters. This is a prism card. Great looking card there. Dan Hooker, Tiago Moises, Tatiana Suarez. Ooh, this pack feels kind of thick, so there might be something special in here. Alex Perez, Tyla Santos, Jared Cannonier, another Brandon Moreno, and an orange prism of Jamahal Hill. Nate Diaz will be fighting in September, the last fight of his contract with UFC. DC. And we have here a 
rookie card, and I'm going to look up the pronunciation uh, before I butcher his name. All right, time to do a review of some of the key cards that I pulled. This is the most valuable card out of the blaster box. This is a tricolor variant of Islam Makachev. He will be headlining UFC 279 October 1st. He will be squaring off against Nate Diaz. Got these orange wave prisms. These are exclusive to the blaster boxes. Got this flash wave of Max Holloway. 445 significant strikes landed. I did look up the pronunciation of this fighter's name. It is pronounced Mudarji Su. He is currently number 12 in the flyweight division. And the last card that I present to you is the base card of Brandon Moreno. He is going to be participating in the co-main event. The flyweight championship belt is on the line, and should he win that, he will become the first Mexican-born champion in UFC history. So, there it is. If you are going to watch the fight, I hope you enjoy it. It will be going down again, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. That is when the main card starts. And take care. Be safe. Enjoy your weekend. Even if you're not watching the fight, there's plenty of other sports. Baseball, of course, is in full swing. Have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. This is Andy Drifter signing off.